In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can deploy our NFT smart contract build with Hardhat to a local blockchain network. Before we jump into this video, check out our Kickstarter that's happening now, Hello Coding 4.0. Oh, you can pledge and get tons of content all about blockchain and more. We're going to deploy to a local in-memory instance of the Hardhat network. This network is run by default, but you can also deploy to a mainnet, Ethereum mainnet, or a testnet, any blockchain network that you'd like. We're going to keep it simple by just deploying to the local in-memory instance of the Hardhat network. We need to create a script to actually do the deployment. So inside of our project folder, we're going to create a new file with notepad or with touch or manually, and we'll call it deploy.js. Yes, this is a JavaScript file. Then let's go to our code editor and we are going to edit that file. You can see we now have it created inside of our project folder. Initially, it's just this empty file, but in here we are going to open up an asynchronous function. You can call this main. First, we need to get the contract factory for our smart contract. So I'm going to create here a const called my contract, and I'm going to await hre and make sure it doesn't try to format to anything else. Dot ethers dot get contract factory. Here you pass in the name of your contract my contract and it's best practice to make sure that the name of your contract is the same as the name of the file to prevent confusion and errors. So if your contract is named my contract, the file should be my contract dot solidity. Okay, now we have the contract factory, which is the class, then we need to deploy the contract. So I'm going to create a const called my contract deployed and I'm going to await my contract const and call the deploy function. Here you pass in the arguments that the constructor needs. In this case our contract needs a name so we can call this my contract name and our contract needs a symbol like MCNS. These are just some sample name and symbol, but you can use any name and symbol that you need. And note that we're using await keywords because when we get a contract factory, it can take some time for that result to load. Same thing with deployment, it can take some time for that data to come back. Then I'm going to await my contract deployed dot deployed when it's completed. And then we can console.log that we have deployed my contract and you can do you can actually see where you deployed it to you can see we deployed it to and then access my contract deployed dot address and you can access more properties as well from the contract anything that you want to log out and this console.log is just a javascript console.log not hardhat because we are in a javascript file then i'm going to open up my main function call. So I'm just calling the function that I just built. And when it is completed, when it runs, we're going to call process.exit0. And we're going to catch any potential errors that may occur. This is just best practice. You want to error handle wherever possible. The more error handling you have, the better, because you can see more of what went wrong. So we're going to catch any errors and log them out and then exit if there are errors. All right, so that is how we can build a deploy JavaScript file. Okay, now how do we run this file? Well, I'm going to go save this file and then go into my terminal or command line application. Inside of my project folder, I'm going to call hardhat with npx hardhat. Then I'm going to call run to run a script and then I have to pass in the name of the script and if it's in some kind of folder you have to include the relative path. In my case it's not in any folder it's just in the direct project 
root. So I can just call deploy.js. Then I can hit enter and we will execute that file main, that file that we just built, deploy.js. And in there we see name my contract name. This is the NFT symbol, MCNS, message.sender, deployed my contract to. Now you may be wondering, where did the first three lines come from? Well, they came from our previous topic where we learned how to log messages in a Solidity contract. So because we deployed a contract, we actually then instantiated its object. So we called the constructor and the constructor had these log messages. So first we logged out these three messages from the Solidity contract. Then once that was done, we then logged out, deployed my contract to. All right, so that means our NFT contract is now deployed to the local hard hat network. That's also the default network, but you can add more networks into hardhat.config.js. You can read the hardhat documentation for how to add different networks, because right now you can see we don't have any network defined, so we're just using the default one, which is the local hardhat instance of the hardhat network that's just running locally on your machine. But if you want to deploy to a public network, one that other people can access as well, not just you, then you just have to set the network configuration in this file. And there's tons of networks out there, so you just have to set the configuration for each one. And it's similar to how Truffle does it. Don't forget to check out our Kickstarter Hello Coding 4.0, first link in the description.